ain't got nothing to do with no holy Quran. Ain't got nothing to do with no city called Mecca. He called you Muslim righteous by nature. Because before there was a Quran, you were righteous by nature. Before there was a holy city Mecca, you were a Muslim and righteous by nature. You were just making a holy pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca. You were making holy pilgrimages to the sacred and the holy city of Abydos. You were making sacred pilgrimages to Ile Ife. You were making the sacred pilgrimage all over key points of Africa. And you understood the one God. You called the one God either in the feminine, feminine or in the masculine by different names. But you always believed in the one God long before there was a prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm at the crossroads in my life, but there are things that I cannot forget and I cannot put down. I believe with all of my heart that the white man is the devil and I must teach that he is the devil. I cannot back down from that. I must teach that he is the devil. All praise is due to Allah. Whether you like me or not, whether you accept me or not, whether you condemn me or not, whether you suspend me or not, the goddamn white man is the devil, and I will teach it from the cradle to the grave. Always teach it. Because I know that you are a fickle people. I know that you are flip-flop, wishy-washy people. I know that you are different strokes for different folks, but it's different ways on different days. Oh, yes, you are. Ah, oh, damn it, if somebody don't continue to remind you, you'll try to walk in the slave theater with Susie Ron Wickle on your arm. Yes, you will. Oh, damn it, sister, you'll try to come in here with Bob. Bill, Larry, sister will try to come in here with Merv, with Doug. God damn it, Doug can't come in. Cindy, Kathy, keep Heather the hell out of here. No Heather in here. Hell no. This is the slave theater. Well, why does Brother Alton Maddox leave the name slave on it? Because, God damn it, we're still in the land of our bondage. We're still in the land of captivity. We're still a slave to the Democratic Party, still a slave to the Republican Party. You can't even see a Freedom Party. You don't see it. You're a slave. I'm a slave. And unless we admit that we are slaves, then we can never get free. Never get free. The first thing a slave must do is admit I'm in bondage. Admit I'm in captivity. Admit that I'm a slave and Giuliani is a slave master. Admit that I'm a slave and Clinton is a slave master. Admit that I'm a slave and Cuomo is a slave master. That's the only way you can get free. Stop walking around acting hip slick, cute and cool with Uchi and Coochie and Poochie and Gucci and all that stuff. You're a slave. You can't wait to get out of here and get a good night's sleep so you can go to your elevator plantation tomorrow. You're a slave. You're a slave to your car note. You're a slave to your rent. You're a slave to your lease. You're a slave to your telephone bill. You're a slave to your light bill, your gas bill. You're a slave. And God damn it, this is the slave theater, and all the radical slaves come here. The Nat Turner slaves come here. The Harriet Tubman slaves come here. The Denmark Vesey slaves come here. This is the slave theater. And all praise is due to our life. This is the slave theater. I'm a slave, 
as I told Devil Hugh, Phil Devil Hugh, I say I'm one of the rebellious slaves. I'm not a peaceful slave. I'm not a compromising slave. I'm not a skinning, grinning, shuffling, scratching, boot licking, butt licking slave. I'm a slave that don't give a damn about you, cracker. Don't care nothing about you. Don't give a damn whether I see another cracker or not. I want to be free. I'm a slave who wants to organize the rest of the slaves. I looked at the crackers on 125th Street. Some of you trembled when you saw them. I was inspired. I couldn't sleep. I was dreaming of confrontation with the enemy. Every slave must dream of confrontation with the enemy. I want to organize some black men. What would have happened if 500 black men would have showed up on 125th Street? I ain't talking about with no damn picket sign. Huh? 